Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is a very quick video to show the results of a test that did recently. Now I was up with 3DXR, those were the guys that helped me fix this S900 and rebuild it, and they do an awful lot with large UAV systems, both fixed wing and multi-rotor, and they had loads and loads of huge multi-rotors in their office, including big hexcopters. And in the conversation that we had, we were talking about what the art of the possible was and how people use more than four motors in a quadcopter to do a couple of things. One is to provide more lift so that you can carry more weight if you want a gimbal and camera and so on underneath the model. And the second reason that people do it is they want to be able to survive a motor failure. And as part of that chat, Ben, who owns 3DXR, kind of said, you know what, I've never actually tested that. So that's what this video is about. So this is the copter that we are going to play with. It has a PixHawk 2.1 installed on the top, and it also has ArduCopter 3.55 installed. It has an FR Sky receiver, and it's pretty standard stuff. So here it is, all set up and flying very nicely. It's reasonably tuned, and everything is really good. So let's bring it into land and actually take one of the props off. Let's actually disable one of the motors so that one of the six motors on this thing isn't producing any thrust. And let's see whether or not the Pixhawk on Ardicopter 3.55 will take off. Now at this point, we both had our fingers crossed. Well, Ben didn't because he was obviously holding the radio. But as he took off, surprise, surprise. It works perfectly. So this is a great example of the kind of stuff that Pixhawk is capable of. It'll not only take off, but it would potentially survive a prop letting go or a motor giving up mid-flight. Now there are a couple of issues with this of course. If it was heavily loaded and you were really pushing the weight limit in the craft, losing a motor would mean that the rest of the motors would struggle to keep it aloft. And the other thing that we noticed when it got like this was we are having your issues and the way that a quadcopter yeah. rotates around its axis or yours is using the different speed of the motors and the kind of counter rotational forces to move the quadcopter left and right and with having one of the motors not working that was a little bit trickier but it does prove it works but hopefully there'll be additional improvements in the future so the idea is that using something like bl heli s telemetry for example or something like that the pixhawk 2.1 would be much quicker and better able to detect which motor had a problem and to compensate much faster. But hopefully this video has shown you that if you have a hexcopter and you're running it with something like a Pixhawk 2.1 with Arducopter 3.55 or probably earlier versions too, if you lose a motor and you haven't got the model too loaded, it'll work absolutely fine. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing, then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.